everybody, welcome to Taste Spot TV's Taste It or Toss It, where we review products that we find online and say whether or not we think we should taste them or, you know, toss them out the window. Today, we're going to be checking out Instant Gourmet Spice Rubs. Now, these are spice rubs that I got in the mail about, mm, about a week and a half ago or so. I was all set to do the show right away, but I thought, you know what? I need to cook with these a little bit. I need to like really try them out, not just you know taste them on camera like it's some sort of wine tasting. I need to see how they are in action. And I gotta say, for the most part, I really did enjoy these. For the most part, we've used them on fish, used them on steaks, used them on some fajitas. Um, I haven't done the popcorn thing yet. That's a that's a test I like to do with spices, but I haven't done it yet with these. But I, I do I do think they would work pretty well today on camera. We're just gonna go down the product line here of the Instant Gourmet Spice Rubs. By the way, their website, if you want to check it out, is instantgourmetspices.com. We are not doing this for any sort of profit. We're just doing them. They, they sent them to us free of charge. That's it. That's my complete open and honest uh, disclosure there. But uh, we're doing it for free because we like to expose products that we think, you know, are, are, are good or expose products that we think are horrible. That's why it's called Taste It or Toss It. So to start up the line here, we're going to start up by uh, tasting their uh, Rustic Italiano I'm going to all uh, plate it out here in spoons so we can taste them online. It's like baby food. <laughs> That'll be like played over and over now in my household. Just wait. Okay, here we go. This is a rustic Italiano from Miss Me Gourmet Spices. This is what I like because it's not just like loaded down with basil and garlic salt. I just see so many like Italian spice ribs are. There's like actual sun-dried tomato in there. And, yes, yeah, so there's basil. There's big chunks of garlic. It's not like garlic salt. That's something I noticed about this whole spice line. They're not loaded down with tons and tons of salt, which so many spice rubs are. They all really taste very fresh. For being dried spices, they kind of have a very fresh taste to them, which I really like. This is a good one. This is, you know, I, I tried it on fish the other day. It was really nice. It really was nice. It's something that, you know, you can really... You know, if you just want to make a quick pasta dish or something, you know, get some noodles going, get some olive oil in there, toss some of this stuff in there. You know, you're really going to be good to go. They're original. This is the Instant Gourmet Original. And this is one, you know, it's good. It's like, it's a total step up from Mrs. Dash. You know, it's kind of your all-purpose seasoning. Or you're sitting there going, this needs something. This is a pretty good one to put on, on almost anything. It's a little saltier, I think, than the other ones. But it's not bad, though, either. It's really not, not, not bad at all. I need my glass of water when I'm reviewing spices because, my God, there's so many flavors going on. This is the Awake Steak. This is, I think, one of my favorite ones. I've tried it on fish, too. Like white fish, I think we did it on tilapia. And it was really good. On a steak, it's pretty good, too. It's a little tasty of that. What really stood out to me on this one is, it's got hints of coffee in it. Yeah. If you've ever had, like, coffee grounds on a steak, now I'm talking, like, empty out the coffee, coffee maker and rub your steak in it, but you need to grind up some coffee, mix it with some other spices, it's really tasty. It works really well on something like a filet, when you get it cooked just, like, to a perfect medium. I really do dig this one. It's a really good one. All right, next one is, this is the Grande Southwest. Notice I haven't tossed any of these yet. This one, it's good. But the one thing I will say, I, of all of the spices, when I tried this the other day, I'm like, oh, it's taco seasoning. Because right off the bat, you're like, it's a step up from the little packet you get at the store, but it's, it's like taco seasoning. And it kind of is. It's good, but it's like taco seasoning, really. And I, then I tried it. It was some fajitas, and it worked really well. It tasted ten times better than the little packet. So I was almost on the verge of saying toss it to this one. I'm like, this one is just, it's too much. It doesn't stand up to the other ones, in my opinion, initially. But when I actually tried it with some food and not just eating it off a spoon, which who's going to sit there and eat you know, spices on a spoon other than me? Um, I, I really do like it. So uh, used in cooking, it is pretty good. Almost a toss, but I'm going to say, you know, taste it. This is one I really thought was cool. It's called Butter Blast. Now, if you're someone who's watching your diet, you don't want to like eat a ton of fat 
and load on everything with butter. This thing gives you really a very authentic butter taste without, you know, having 400 calories on that roll or on that roast or on a piece of fish or something. Great on fish. Instead of dipping it in, like, you know, the drawn butter and everything, put some of this on there, and it really has the exact same flavor. Very authentic tasting to butter. <laughs> I'm not supposed to snort the spices either. Ah, but uh, there's some other, uh, you know, garlic in there. And uh, it almost, almost tastes like, you know, parsley. Very fresh tasting for being a, a dried spice. Very good, though. I did enjoy it. This is one of my favorites right next to the uh, steak one. The other one, Caribbean Isles. And this one, you know, did that on some fish of the night, too. It's good. I wouldn't toss it. It's not my favorite of all of these. But it kind of has that jerk seasoning flavor to it. So if you kind of go for like a Caribbean, you put like a salsa or something on your fish, it'd probably be good on some like, some like meat too, maybe like duck or pork. Pork, like a roast pork loin, it's probably really good on too. So overall, instant gourmet spices, I'd say taste them. I really wouldn't toss any of these. I'd say they're worth it. They're fairly inexpensive. You know, and you get a, a good amount here, you know, compared to like, you know, buying a little thing at Mrs. Dash or something. This is actually, you know, you're really getting a good value and it, it's something that'll last you for a while. Like expiration states, on uh, these used by 5115. You know, I don't know if I keep spices around that long. I usually go through them quicker, but you know, I, I think they, they would do your kitchen good if you're someone who doesn't make your own spices, but wants to uh, have some seasonings in there. So overall, Eastern Gourmet Spice Reps, taste them. I like them. There you go. The Taste Spot TV's Taste It or Toss It. I'm Tony B. Thanks for watching.